Hi, this is Paula and Wanda from Elanda Craft and today we're going to show you how to make these gorgeous little Easter egg tote bags. They'll be great for your little eggs to take out on an Easter egg hunt and gather their Easter eggs in. So let's get started. So this is what you're going to need. You'll need two pieces of contrasting fabric, uh, a main and a lining. And you'll need your pattern piece, which will be printed off for you in two pieces. And you'll just simply trim one end and then sellotape the two together so that you end up with a piece that looks like this. Now, you're going to place this on the fold of the fabric and you'll cut two of your main and two of your lining. So that's what you'll see when you cut your pattern. And when you open it, of course, it's going to look like that. Nice and easy. So let's get started with uh, constructing it. Now that we have our pieces cut out, what we're going to do is put right sides together, so the two main pieces and the two lining pieces, so facing down. And then we're going to sew a quarter inch seam. So start with a back stitch, and come down a quarter inch, stop a quarter inch from the end, pivot, come along again, turn and come to the end and back stitch. And the reason that we don't just sew off the ends is because we're going to box the bottoms of these. So that's quick and easy. I'll go and do that. Then I'll come back and show you how to do the boxing. So now I've sewn around the edge of the bag, the quarter inch seam, and now I'm going to box the corners. So to make that easier, what I've done is I've just sew, um, ironed the seam open. And I'm going to put my hand inside the bag, like this, up to the corner. Okay, so you can see my hand in there, and then I'm just going to work my fingers down to kind of line up those two seams. Now there's a side seam and the bottom seam. So I'll just get a pin, because we want these to look nice and neat when it's finished. I'm going to pop a pin in through the side seam, and I want it to come out in the middle of the seam on the bottom. Okay, and just adjust all that. Now, I like to check before I go any further, something to make sure it is lining up. And as you can see, that's pretty good. So this is the seam on the side, and this is the seam on the bottom. And they look pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to measure down an inch and a half. I'm going to measure from this point in here, so inside the V. You see how my seams are forming a, a V? But we measure from the bottom point. So I'll just place that down onto my table, bring my ruler over, and I'm going to measure down an inch and a half, so there's my inch and a half. As you can see, I've placed the inch and a half mark on the bottom of the V-line, and then I'm going to take my chalk, and do a right across here. Okay, and that's going to be my sewing line. So I'm just going to pin that. Right, so I'll sew along there, and then I'll cut this off at about a quarter of an inch so that we don't have any bulk on the inside of the bag. But that will give you a nice finish to the bottom of the bag and the side. The seams should all line up nicely. So once I've sewn all of the box corners, I'd just like to give a quick check and make sure that the seams do pretty well match up and in this case you can see it's they match up perfectly and that's really good sometimes I'll be out a little bit it don't fuss over it too much so once I'm happy with how the seams look I'm then going to go and cut off the excess so around about a quarter of an inch just snip it off just gets rid of all that bulk in the bottom so we want these to like everything to sit nice and flat And just eyeball it, don't fuss too much about it. Okay, so all those pieces are done and now we're going to start assembling the bag. So that's our next step. So if you're going to add any embellishments to your bag, now's the time to do it. Turn your main piece to the right so that the right sides are out. You can see here we've put a pretty flower onto our pink bag. And I've got some little bows here that I'm going to add to this one to give some detail. Now just remember when you're placing your embellishments that you are going to be doing quarter inch seams around here so you need to make sure that you place them well away from getting caught into the seams. So I'm just going to place them something like that 
and I'll go and attach those and then I'll come back and we'll put the lining in and start on the final steps. So as you can see I've added my embellishments to the main part of the bag and now on the lining I'm going to make some markings so when we put these two bags inside each other and get ready to sew we only sew as far as the lines and that's uh, I'll show you that in a moment so here we go um, going to measure in about three inches just make some marks it doesn't have to be exactly three inches doesn't matter if it's a bit more a bit less but we need to have some markings there so we know how far to sew. I'm also going to mark about oh, two inches across here and leave a mark because we're going to turn our bag through. You right. can make it a bit bigger if you like. So our bag's going to turn through here but we still want to leave these top pieces open. So now I'm going to pop right sides together so my main piece is right side facing, my lining is uh, outside facing and you can see I've got the marks on the the other side as well. And so pop one inside the other and it's a case of matching up the side seams to start with just flatten them out, you can iron them or you can just flatten them with your finger Okay, I'm just going to pop a pin in there, on the other side, I won't worry too much about it at the moment because I'll straighten this up after but you'll make sure that it's all nice and flat and even when you do it, so you want everything to sit nice and flat. Okay. So, as I say, what we're going to do is only sew up to that point there. Yeah. So I'll go to the machine, quarter inch seam again, and I'm going to sew around up to this side. Okay, so around from one handle to the other and then over here I'm going to sew around and up to the side. Let's put a pin in there, just keep it all nice and neat. Then when we then we're going to sew around the inside of the bag, but on one side we're going to leave our opening so that we can turn our bag through but on the other side we'll sew right round up to those markings so I hope that's clear but I'll go and do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you okay so as you can see I've sewn from this mark to this mark from this mark to this mark from here round the edge up to this mark on both sides. Okay, so a quarter inch seam from mark to mark. So now I can turn the bag through and then I'll show you how to do the handles. So so quick and easy. Let's pop it all through. So now we're going to assemble the handles and what we want to do is we want to actually make sure that the, the front handles are attached and the back handles. So you don't want to do what we've done a few times and that's attach the front to the back. That's not what we're doing in this case. We we'll find the easiest way to do this is just to pick up the centre pieces here on the front and the back and pull it so that you have the two side seams kind of facing each other. Now what I'm going to do Let's take the two lining pieces and just put them together and pin them. Then I'll sew those together and then we want to sew the main pieces. So see we've got our flap of three inches. But we want to make sure that we put the, the right sides together because we don't want to side sew 
with having the um, the inside facing out. So make sure that when we bring it round that we have the right sides together and we pin it. So when it's sewn, it'll turn through and it'll sit nicely and there's the lining. Now I'll just go through it again on the other side for you. So I'm going to bring up the lining pieces, right sides together and pin. And then I'm going to bring up the main pieces and just a little twist around so that the right sides are facing and pin. You'll know you've done it right if you have the two outsides facing. If you've got an outside and then a reverse side of your fabric you'll know it's not right. But that's how we're going to do it. So I'll go and do that and then I'll come back and we'll talk about finishing it off. Now once you've sewn the handles together just iron the seam at the top flat just to keep it nice and flat and easy to work with. And our next step is going to be to top stitch. But before we do that, we need to turn in our quarter inch seams and just iron it all so that it's nice and neat. And you do that on all of the edges that were open. You know, we left our, our three inch um, opening. So iron them all flat. So I've done all that. And also iron in your opening where you turned your bag through. And now I'm going to go and top stitch all the way around the handles and around the bag here and the other side. About an eighth, eighth of an inch always looks quite nice. And then our bag will be finished. So I'll go and do that and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. It's all finished. Isn't it gorgeous? You can see I've done the top stitching around the edges so it just finishes it off nicely. And you can just imagine your little one going on their Easter egg hunt and taking this little bag with them. I think it's just gorgeous.